yeah, this uh, vintage set of hockey cards. Um, got a whole bunch. Uh, Summer Commons, actually. This guy is a captain for the Penguins back in the day, and that was Lemieux's second year. So that I find that interesting, but still, good solid defenseman. I think he, yeah, no centerman. Uh, I always thought Mike Bullard was a defenseman. Ah, uh, okay, I'll pull up some cards. <clears throat> Um, these are commons, um, some of the things you'll notice, even with this common, and this one, you're gonna notice they're off center, not that it matters, um, they're not a high value card, um, a card like this, you want it nicely centered, um, it's Wayne Gretzky's. That's his second year as a captain. I actually have his first year card when he was a captain of the Oilers. Um, what they look like on the back. Um, yeah. Well, there it gives you a good idea of who was in the NHL back then uh, on the assist leaders. Um. Yeah, I actually noticed Neil Broughton, Aaron Broughton was in a trade back in the early days, in the early 90s, I mean, um, was that draft day, and the Leafs decided that they would trade a young Scott Niedermeyer at the draft before he was even drafted to the Leafs, and they had his pick, and... So they traded Aaron for Aaron Broughton, I think it was Tom Fergus. And that was something they soon regret. About another trade another Canadian team made that was bad, goaltender trade. Um, same team. New Jersey got Martin Brodeur in a draft trade from Calgary. Bordeaux was supposed to start his career in Calgary through a source, a good friend of mine, and her father worked in the NHL, um, told me about when the trade went down in the, during that draft. He was supposed to be with the be a Calgary Flame, but you see the Flames had Mike Vernon back then. And uh, basically, they didn't need a two goalie tandem, well, at least they thought. And they had Trevor Kidd from the year before in the draft. But they didn't realize how good Martin Berger really was. Um, okay, so he goalie that year, 85 86. Surprisingly, was Yari Curry. Wayne Gretzky was, let's see here, six, yeah, he was in sixth place. Um, but you gotta remember, there was a lot of talent back in the 80s. Um, you look at that lineup, uh, Mike Bossy and the Islanders, Tim Kerr was in third, Glenn Anderson in fourth, Michelle Goulet. Uh, Gretzky, um, Coffey, Lemieux, Savard, um, Howard Chuck. Just some phenomenal players. Yeah, and the Oilers were just that good, but that was the year the Habs won the Cup. Um, that was a pretty exciting year for me. Um, I was a kid, and I remember I think it was 87, 31 years ago, and... I got to see the cup at the mall building. <clears throat> um, and I got my picture with it. 
and my parents were there. I was just maybe four years old, maybe less than that. I think it was four, three, four years old. Yeah. Um, that's what I like about um, local Peterborough players that win the Stanley Cup. Corey Stillman, Bob Gainey. The real class acts. Um, there's many others I could name. Craig Redmond's another one. No, Craig Ramsey or whatever his name is. Um, good players. There's proof Lindy Ruff played in the NHL. Um, yeah. So, let's go look. Let's see if we can pull some other players out. And then, as we all know, for hockey card collectors, um, Lindy Ruff went on to have probably one of the best coaching careers in the NHL. And currently, I think he's with Dallas or not. Not sure. Uh, it's one of the toughest businesses. But, yeah. He understood the game really well. Funny enough, he went to Stanley Cup Finals with Dallas. No, with Buffalo against Dallas. And now he's coaching Dallas. And there's actually a video. Um, people who know hockey, there's still believers that Hall didn't put the puck in the net because there was goalie interference on Hasek, Dominic Hasek, to, um, versus Brett Hall. Um, my opinion, I don't know, I guess there's a rule in the rule book that came out that year, but it hadn't been legislated. So I don't know. I'm not a fan of either team, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, just going to see. Um, there's one of the Canadian's early goaltenders before Patrick Wall put on the skates for the Habs. Uh, Steve Penny, uh, he was very talented. Some interesting cards in here. This is almost a complete set of 586. Um, I'll just show you a key card out of it. I'll just go way to the back. Okay, let's see if I can find him. Oh, there's Gretzky. And Timmy Kerr. Gretzky. I might have it in laminates. Um, in top loader form. Yeah. Wait, I did, think I just seen it. Let's go through this again. Yeah. Actually, that's a good player right there, Benny Maruk. Um, played for a team called Minnesota North Stars before they were the Minnesota Wild. Um, just going to take a look. There's Tom Fergus. Um, wait, no, he couldn't have been in that trade because he was trading 85 86. Um, oh, he might have been on the receiving end, going with Niedermeyer back to, yeah, Toronto, to New Jersey. Yeah. Ron Duguay, best Afro in the NHL, as Don Sherry put it. Um, Greg Malone. Um... Some comments in here. 
Craig Redmond, uh, Craig Redmond, that name sounds familiar. Uh, Kane, Olympic team. Uh, I just wonder if he played for the Pete's. Mickey Redmond, he might have been Mickey's son. Um, Neil Brotman. Uh, Greg Gilbert, and it's autographed. I met Greg when he was coach of the Niagara Ice Dogs. Just want to say a big thank you to Greg if you're watching this video. Um, I doubt he is. It's going to be on YouTube soon. Um, he's won the Stanley Cup four times. So, He's had a successful career coaching hockey players in the OHL. Um, not sure what he's doing now. I don't keep up with people. It's just my personal attitude. Actually, that's a nicely centered card. Um, so, here's some of the things about centering. When you're looking at a centered card, you want it like this, just perfect. This is what they mean. So centering of the card should look like that. And this is a great card to do an example on because it's a nice set. The player is going face forward. Then you can use his elbows and his glove and center the card that way. And then you look at the edges and the borders. It is pulling a little bit, but it's not that bad. Luckily, it's not Lemieux's rookie card. I don't have that yet. I'm looking for McInnes's. Oh, gosh. Um, Gillies. Gilmore's. I do have Clark Gillies. There's Mike Bossy. Um, Mr. Consistency. To his ankles gave out. Um... 50 goal score every single year. Proof is in the numbers. Um, I'm a Habs fan at heart, but um, you know you gotta have a lot of respect for the guy, especially when he's from Quebec. Um, yeah, these are back on the good old days when players. Play hockey with wooden sticks. Pat LaFontaine. I got an interesting story about Pat LaFontaine. Um, I think it was in the springtime. Came to the Morrill Center. And I just got myself about maybe six months ago. 8045 set. I don't have no more. I traded for a wall rookie card. And I could have got his autograph. His son was playing hockey. And, um, unfortunately I missed out. But, um, yeah. I could have got signed, and, uh, but you can't fall back on the coulda, woulda, shouldas. It's just one of those things. Um, another awesome player, Ron Francis. Um, he's got the same, I got the same last name as he has. Is my first name. But, um... That's his statistics, pretty solid. Um, even played for the Leafs. He's currently working with the Carolina Hurricanes of the National Hockey League. I think he's a head coach or a GM. But um, yeah, he does a lot for the community. He has a son that's uh, mentally dis no, a brother that's mentally disabled, and he always bought him tickets when he is up in Toronto. Because that's where his brother is located. And uh, so every time he came to Toronto, and I think he even bought him season tickets to the Leafs games. So it really shows a heart and character. A lot of these players, even though they're commons, a lot of them are very friendly. Um, I met the likes of Randy Lavasier. Great guy to talk to. Um... And there's a really good defenseman right there, Larry Robinson, one of the key players to the Montreal Canadiens' success in the 70s, to them winning 
their uh, Stanley Cups. As you can see, he didn't score as many goals. But when you look at points, assists, he was there. And um, most importantly, he kept the puck out of the net. Um, and just a tough customer. He'd ride players into the boards, as my father told me. I was a youngster when I seen Robinson play. I think it was with the Kings and a little with the Habs. I can remember him. Well, he wasn't with them in 89, but I think I remember 88. But, um, yeah. Yeah, some interesting players. Glenn Hanlon, a bit steady goaltender. Um, Michel Goulet, there he is. Pretty good player. Um, as you can see, 264 goals in total, and that's only in like six seasons in the NHL. That's just closing in on 300. That's about, give or take, 36. That'll be 30, 34 away. Yeah. That'll be 36 away. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Doug Jarvis. Um, pretty sure he played for the Piro Peets. Yeah. My hometown. And for the good old Canadians. Uh, and, um, yeah. Just always gotta be careful with these cards. You don't bend the corners. Very condition sensitive. It's kind of like getting on a racing bike and you don't have much experience. I give it way too much throttle and it throws you in the dirt. And that's what happens if you damage these hard cards. It'll throw you in the dirt. It'll make the dirt poor. <laughs> oh, jeepers. You don't like losing value on your hockey cards. Because they're getting hard to find. Um, and when I was buying these cards back in the late 90s, 2000s, they were telling me that back then, because the cards were con condition sensitive. Um, it's one of those things. Yeah, um, first 80s hockey cards I've seen in wax packs. And I can still remember when you can buy a hockey par pack of hockey cards for 50 cents. So you can get a pack of hockey cards and you might come across a Paul Coffey, a Matt Snazlin. My first pack, I got a Wayne Gretzky and then I was addicted to hockey cards. I knew from that point on I wanted to have a whole bunch when I got older. But the nice thing is, what I'm doing is the doubles I find and give them to my nephews. And someday, if it ever happens, and that's a big if, and if I have kids, I have a wife and have kids here, there's a boy or a girl, I don't care. They're going to learn about the hockey cards. And they're going to take care of the hockey cards for me. And because it's really, I think hockey card collecting is a fun thing. It's a family thing. It's expensive. Um, no cutting around it. There are good deals out there. Um, there are honest people. You just have to get out and know them. Uh, Ray Whitney. Very talented hockey player. Um, actually, know the story of how he got his career started. Um, his brothers would take him way out, lived out west, and uh, as you can see, as he played in the WHL there. 
Um, and the funniest thing about Ray, he wasn't good at skating. And um, so his brothers just were concerned. So they would actually sneak off while they were playing hockey. they get out of their skates and take off and leave Ray to do his own thing. And surprise, surprise, Ray went on, got drafted by the Sharks of San Jose, and went on to have a great career. This one, Nikolai Javi Bullen's early cards when he is with the Winnipeg Jets. It's a pretty cool one. Um, I actually might give that back to a friend of mine. Um, what happened was another classmate traded him and he had this card. And I felt so bad for him because I knew he got ripped off. So maybe he can give that to one of his kids. Interesting thing about uh, Nikolai Javi Bullen. He used to smoke two packs of cigarettes before, between periods. Well, duration of the periods. But that's how many you go through. So yeah, that's how bad his nerves were back in the early days. But an extremely good goaltender, won the Stanley Cup with Tampa Bay. Um, unfortunately, it was against a Canadian team, I think it was Calgary. But, um, no, it was Edmonton. But, um, either way, it is what it is. One team goes home to win, one team goes home without the prize. Um,. Let's see if we can find some older cards. Yeah, they're in here. Um, let's pull from here. Oh wow, this is from the 70s, Pierre Mondo. Let's see what we here. Yvonne Lambert. Um, Doug Jarvis again. Three seasons in the AHL. Oh, didn't know he was with Toronto. That must have been a draft trade. Because it doesn't show up in the stats. Um, Stephen Pearson. Rookie card. 77, 78. Larry Robinson, All Star. It's got a little creasing in it. So. Let's see the minor damage. That's why I say about condition sensitive, you just gotta be careful. I've actually met this guy, Ken Dryden, um, 12 time Stanley Cup winner. It was exciting. I wish I had the whole frame of this and then just put it into a frame. But, uh, oh well. Yeah, that's an expensive set to buy. Uh, Brad Park, very talented. Mike Palmatier, very talented goaltender. Yeah, he's a leaf, I know, I know. But I kind of play, I gotta play both sides on that. Um, Dickie Redmond. Uh, reason why my friends are leaf fans and they kind of see it like Ten Commandments. So if I break those Ten Commandments, I break their friendship. So. Gotta be a good sport. Don't diss the Leafs. I uh, can't believe I'm saying that. When I want to. <laughs> but, you know, I'm really proud of um, the Leafs that they did get John Tavares this year. Um, I met John when he was in the OHL with the Oshawa Generals. Very talented player. And, um, yeah, and just a real class act. Um, I remember the Peets were having a hard go of it. Um, they couldn't find a win past the Oshawa Generals. And, um, one of the Generals fans yelled out, uh, you can use that jersey as a doormat. And John looked at him and said, don't ever say that again. And, he didn't yell it at him. He just looked directly at, right at him and said it quietly. Guy just walked by. Didn't have anything to say. Um, 
Bobby Smith, another talented hockey player. Um, Richard Brodeur, back in his day, this Brodeur was a very talented uh, goaltender. He got the Canucks to the finals. Um, and no, he is no relation to Mr. Martin Brodeur. I thought he was too when I got into it. I think it took Google to figure that out. Um, yeah, Murray Glenn Hanlon. Uh, yeah, that was his first NHL team. Four seasons with the Canucks. And Thomas Gradine, one of the better NH uh, Vancouver Canucks of his time. Um, that and Stan Smeal. Um, yeah. <sighs> Glenn Chico Reich, um, very talented goaltender, 259 goals against average actually, um, that's a rare picture because the Colorado Rockies were, I think it was only two seasons they were around, and um, yeah. Donald Sherry, Donald S. Sherry was their uh, head coach. I think Reich also went on to uh, goaltend coach uh, Montreal Canadiens. But um, had a very illustrated um, NHL career, very talented goaltender. Played the game to the very best of his abilities, and uh, I don't think you can ask mo any more from a player. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. These are some more of my expensive cards. That's why I keep them in this box. Um, I don't put them in binders too much anymore. Just in case somebody's over and they're making trades with me. Let me see these cards. Um, I'm going to tell you about the dark side of hockey cards. Just give me a minute. Uh, sorry, it's up against my shirt. Hopefully my stomach doesn't drop. Dark side of hockey cards is, um... Basically, one time made a trade, and... I thought it was a decent trade and everything, but what I didn't know, the guy went and swiped two autograph deal Howard Chucks and a Paul Coffey rookie card. Um, the Howard Chucks were replaceable. I actually found them in town in Tampa Bay, I believe it, or Florida or somewhere at a hockey card shop. And the guy felt bad, and I said, "Forget it. I'll find them some other way." And funny enough. Um, I found a replacement uh, coffee rookie card down at a, a Florida hockey card shop. A different one. Not even the ones that had the um, the stolen cards. And I tracked them down on eBay. And uh, it was just lucky I knew his name. And... Um, so I mentioned the name. They went back to the grading system. They got. It took a couple days. He actually phoned me back and they said, "Yeah, it's a definite. The cards are stolen." So I had proof, but and they were going to send me paperwork. Um, so if I wanted to show, but such a small steal, I decided just to let it go. Um, my advice to anybody that collects hockey cards, it's okay to show them on Facebook or YouTube, whatever. Just don't be showing them in the open public. Don't bring somebody into your house. Um, I made that mistake once. You know, it's kind of like the saying, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. You mess with the thief, you'll get stolen. You'll get robbed. And you just did sneak, you just behind my back, 
I wasn't looking. I was checking the value of the cards. That's what he told me to do. And kind of listened to him. But um, maybe it was a good thing I didn't um, turn around and say, hey, you're stealing my cards. And, you know, there's no way to watch out for you. And you could get attacked or something. You know, that's the darker side of hockey cards. And that goes for a lot of things. A lot of stuff gets stolen. It's like, I got those guitars over there. An amp. Those aren't cheap. Um, yeah, I may put them on video sometimes. But my location is pretty discreet. I mean, I live in Peterborough, but where do I live? You know? It's pretty difficult to find. But um, the nice thing is when... You're out collecting hockey cards. Just remember, just to do the right things. Bring them home. Don't open them till you get home. And um, yeah, and just enjoy collecting them. Uh, the reason why I'm collecting is I only said that previous in the video. So, anyways, I just want to see people that are in the enjoyment of collecting. Enjoy it to the fullest, um, and um, some of the reasons why I have some of the other stuff around here, the video game systems, that's another reason is that when I get older and um, if I ever decide to, and that's a big if, or decide to have kids, get married, get working for a, a good steady full um, full time job. I probably won't get married, probably common law, but um, just basically settle down and that's what those systems would be for, but right now I'm going to have a lot of fun, that's just the way things are. Uh, it's been a long night, I do my laundry, sometimes when you do that much laundry it keeps you up, so you don't want to catch any hazard so anyways happy collecting and I uh, wish you the very best um, and I'll keep in touch with the hockey cards and um, I have some more coming in tomorrow got a bargain deal on a whole set over a thousand cards for 50 bucks all from the 80s up to the 90s upper deck OPGs just crazy how much I got and um so it should be fun so I'll see you later bye now